Good morning. Now we're going to continue the passive. The passive, here we're going to talk about different tenses. How to change from active to passive and with different tenses. Let's see. For the example here, we have all the tenses you know. All the tenses in the present simple tense, for example. Let's take one by one. Uh, Tom writes letters. Here, verb here, which tense is the verb? It's the present simple tense. So, we have to keep in mind that we put the verb to be in the same tense. So, what is the present simple tense of verb to be? For the plural, because here, uh, uh, sorry, uh, we'll begin with. Step number one, before looking at the verb, we have to start by putting the object first. As I said before, in the previous video, we start the passive sentence by putting the object. So, the object becomes here the subject. So, letters comes at the beginning. Therefore, letters is plural. So, I put verb to be in the plural. And it must be the same tense as here. So, here was present simple. So, I put verb to be in the present simple. So, present simple tense. Tom writes letters. For the passive, I start by putting letters. And then I look at verb. At the verb here, it's present simple. Verb to be in the present simple, so on, and then we put this verb in the past participle. So letters are written, and then I put by and the door of the action or the agents. So letters are written by two. So we have to keep in mind that number one, we have to find the object and put it at the beginning. Number two, we look at the verb here tense and we put verb to be in the same tense. Number three, we have to find the past participle of this verb. Number four, we put by and the doer if it's important to mention it. Let's take another sentence. Tom wrote letters. Here, this is the past simple tense. Past simple. So I put verb to be in the past simple tense. Letters where the past simple tense of verb to be is where. And then it's followed by the past participle of the verb. Written by Tom. This is the possible. Number three, we have the present perfect tense. Present perfect tense. Tom has written letters. So here we mean letters have been, have been is the present perfect offer to be. Plus the past participle have been written by Tom. Let's take another tense. It's the past perfect. The past perfect is had plus the past participle. So Tom had written letters. Again, I put verb to be in the past perfect. So letters had been written past participle by Tom. And pay attention, had been. W E L. Now, what about the future with will? The future with will is followed by the infinitive. So Tom will write letters. So here I say this is the, the infinitive. So I say letters will and the infinitive verb, verb to be is be. So will be and then the past participle of the verb written by Tom. Here the present continuous. The present continuous Tom is writing letters. Here letters are being. This is the present continuous of verb to be. It's not commonly used, but it is used with the passive. This is one of the very few uses of the present continuous of verb to be. So, R, B, E, pay attention, B, it's B, E, 1, E, I, N, G. So, this is the present continuous tense of verb to be. And then, written by Tom. What about the past continuous? Again, Tom was writing letters. So, here we have letters. Where being, again, where being, this is the past continuous of verb to be. Where being written by Tom. What about the infinitive? If I have two, two is followed by the infinitive. So if I, if for example, Tom has to write letters, he has two. So after two, of course, comes the infinitive. So here again, I say letters have to be. It's the infinitive written by Tom. The last thing is uh, following modern, modern verbs. What are, what are the modern verbs? 
like may, must, can, all these. Uh, they are followed by the infinitive. So again, here, term may write letters. Here, it's the infinitive. So again, letters may be written by term, or letters must be written by term, or letters can be written by term. These are the tenses you may use and how to change from active to passive. So whatever is the sentence, you follow the same steps. Number one, you look for the object and you put it at the beginning. Number two, you look at the verb tense here and you put verb to be in the same tense. Number three, you find the past participle of the verb. And if it is an irregular verb like right, you have to memorize them. You have the list and you have to memorize them. Number four, you have to look for the, the agent or the doer of the action. If it's important to mention, then you put by, followed by the agent or the doer. Now let's have some exercises because you may have right from active to passive, or you may have correct the verb. So let's see an example how to think. If you have this exercise, correct the verb between brackets. Now pay attention because uh, before this lesson, when you can't correct the verb, you, you just look at the subject and immediately you think it's uh, the verb we're going to uh, put this verb in the same tense. So if it's uh, yesterday, I put the verb in the past. But now, no, you have to decide is this sentence active or passive? Because if it's a passive sentence, then verb to be will be put according to the keywords. So let's have an example here. My computer steal yesterday. My computer steal yesterday. Is this an active or a passive sentence? Of course, it is a passive sentence. So here, uh, yesterday is a keyword for the past simple tense. So which verb will be put in the past simple tense is verb to be. It's not verb to steal. So here, my computer was, and then this verb, I look for the past participle and put it. So my computer was stolen yesterday. So pay attention here, it's not the door. Still, my computer is not the door of the action. But if I say the thief stole my purse yesterday, yes, this is a, an active sentence. But here, this is a passive sentence. So in a passive sentence, verb to be is very important. You have to find the keyword and put verb to be accordingly. So if I have a keyword for the past simple, I have to put verb to be in the past. If I have a keyword for the present perfect, verb to be is to be put in the present perfect and so on. Let's have another example. The book, verb to read at the moment. So the book, but again, this is not the doer of the action. Books don't read, but we read books. So here it's a passive sentence. Again, at the moment is a keyword for the present continuous. So I put verb to be in the present continuous. Remember you have this list. So, is being, the book is being, and then the past participle of verb to read is read. Pay attention, it's the same spelling, but the pronunciation is different. Read, read, read. It's the same spelling, but it's pronounced differently. So, the book is being read at the moment. Now, number three, my room clean every day. Every day is a key word for the present simple tense. It's a habit, something that is repeated. What is the present simple tense for verb to be? For singular, it is. So my room is. And then I put this verb in the past participle. My room is cleaned every day. Number four, that house built recently. Recently, it's a keyword for the present perfect. So again, I put verb to be in the present perfect. So that house has been built recently. And built is the past participle of verb to build. So that house has been built recently. The last example here, the letters deliver tomorrow. The letters, the, the letters don't deliver themselves. So the letters will be delivered tomorrow. Tomorrow is a keyword for the future. So will be delivered. That's all. We have another uh, explanation about the past, uh, about the passive, the active and the passive. Goodbye for now.